Wow, friends, did you see that video with the tsunami in uh, Indonesia? Man, that was just absolutely crazy. And my response and my review is simply this. It seems like we're seeing more and more tumultuous weather patterns an increase of weather patterns all throughout the earth and the globe. And, you know, the Bible clearly, someone just said the Bible, why are you talking? Hey, the Bible clearly teaches that there will be many earthquakes and there will be an increase in tumultuous weather patterns. Now, we've always had earthquakes since the beginning of time. If you study what that scripture says, Jesus said there will be earthquakes and wars and rumors of wars. Simply what it means is this. We are having more wars today than we've ever had simultaneously at the same time. We are having more earthquakes simultaneously than we've ever had since the beginning of time. There are literally thousands of earthquakes. Dale, you don't hear about them because they're not large enough, obviously, to create any type of havoc. But, man, I'm telling you, the, my reply, my response is simply this, friends. It's time to get undercover. If you're not undercover spiritually with the Lord, with Jesus, with God, hey man, I would not play this game right now, friends. I believe in my heart we're seeing things unfold prophetically in the world. We're seeing prophecy unfold. We're seeing the book of Revelations unfold. If you don't believe me, read the book of Revelations, my friend. The important thing is you have Jesus in your heart. You're undercover. We're all born separated from God for original sin. Now, I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've got many of the preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. Just search simply Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one. And, you know, someone just said, hey, is God causing this? No, he's not. The earth is just reacting to what's going on in it. You know, there's obviously such a degree of sin. It's like the bowls of incense are running over. You know, America, my friends, I believe we're going into days that are challenged, my friends. You know, I'm not going to say there's the wrath of God, but certainly some type of judgment where God is going to respond or he doesn't have a choice to literally tens of millions of abortions to sin. But anyway, I didn't come on here for that. If you don't have Christ in your heart, man, today's the day of salvation. We're all born separated from God for original sin. Does anyone go to hell because of their sin? No, not really. They go to hell because of their original sin. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Be saved from what, you may ask. Hey, I just said eternal separation from God. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. And you know this scripture, the book of John, third chapter, 16th verse. For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only son, Jesus, that if you believed in Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Hey, bow your heart to me right now. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. I make you the center of my life. I place my trust and my faith in you. Friends, again, I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you want to check out, I've got many videos about, about, about the Bible, about you know, where I get revelation from God, from heaven. Anyway, friends, God bless you in Jesus' name. Trust in the Lord. He's got a mighty plan for your life. Be blessed today.